Hi, I'm Thomas with Cape Regal Yachts, and uh, let me tell you, this this dog is not getting any lighter. Uh, Cape Regal Yachts is located in Cape Coral, Florida. Today we're up here on the Tennessee River in northern Alabama. We have a listing up here. Um, this vessel is a Lakeview houseboat. It's a 90 foot, and uh, it's uh, first class all the way. We're on a tributary to the Tennessee River up here called Blue Water Creek. And uh, and it's just a stone's throw away from Joe Wheeler State Park, if any of you ever heard of that. But anyway, we'll get started. Uh, we'll take an interior tour of this vessel and uh, see what we can find. Thank you. Okay, I'm back. Um, we're coming in the front door of the vessel right now. I'll try and get everything that I can here. Let's see. First impressions when you come inside are uh, quite good. The interior design of this vessel is exceptional. I mean, if you didn't know better, you wouldn't even know you were on the water. For goodness sake, it doesn't look anything like anything nautical. But right up here at front, we'll swing right on over here. And uh, a little glare here. Here is your uh, helm station downstairs. It's on the main deck. And like I said, there's a little glare here. So I, uh, a lot of these pictures I have, uh, the stills I have on the website and on Yacht World. And uh, anyway, that's that's your control console. I'll step back away from it. Uh, there's that fat dog. Okay. And we'll just go right on along here. All kinds of lighting up here. I, I don't even have all of them on right now at this point. Uh, overhead fans. Uh, I mean, golly. Here's your entertainment center. It's a huge flat screen TV, I believe it looks like it's about a 46 inch, if not larger. And uh, sliding glass doors to the outside. And as we go back, we got an uh, island here uh, for your mills and uh, the galley, if you want to call it a galley. As mentioned uh, on the website, uh, all these uh, appliances are full-size appliances. They're all Whirlpool, all first-rate. Uh, let's see, we'll get in here and uh, Yeah, maybe we can find something good to eat. Nope. Ooh, Jose Cuervo mix. Tell you, guy could get in trouble on here. All right, and a freezer, just like at home. And uh, there's our dishwasher. Double sink. Over and under uh, microwave oven and uh, cooktop. And looking back the other way. Just came through there. There's that dog up there again. And we're going down uh, the starboard side. We're headed aft right here. Uh, and you come down a passageway here. And this first door to your right, there is a bathroom. 
and uh, I'll call it a bathroom on this boat it just seems to, to fit better Let's see, I don't need that noise. There we go. Okay, let's see what this is. There we go. There's a little better light. There may be too much light. I don't know. Yeah, excuse me jostling around this camera like this. I'm by no means a, a, a veteran of Hollywood. Uh, hearsay. And a shower stall. clean. This vessel's had very, very little use. Uh, in fact, the fellow that owns it's a friend of mine. Uh, and uh, they really haven't done a... He, he works a lot. And they really haven't done a whole lot in this vessel. Uh, because uh, he has several businesses that he runs and uh, so he's running all the time with his head with his hair on fire but uh, that's a nice bed up on like a podium and uh, that's a queen size bed I think it's queen if not king uh, I'd say queen queen size bed and then uh, it comes on around here Oh, that's kind of cool. A little bitty door here. It's kind of a midget door. Let's see what we got inside here. A closet, I'm sure. Yeah, cool. Okay. But the main engines on this vessel only have 156 hours on them. Uh, they are Mer cruisers. That's what they use on these houseboats up here. And, uh, and out dries. Uh, they do well in this fresh water. They do just fine. Uh, it does have a 20 kilowatt generator on board, uh, which is more than enough to power everything on there. There's a lot of space in this boat, and uh, central air, uh, central heat, just like you would have uh, at home. There's uh, another bedroom down here. And uh, if you could bear with me here, I should have probably already turned on a light right here, but uh, trying to figure out where all the switches are, and I'm not sure where they are. So it's going to get dark. Woo okay, hang on. Uh, ah, there we go. Yeah, let me back it up. And a uh, little TV in here. And uh, this is only about a half ceiling in here. I would say it's probably... Uh, Oh, five foot high, five and a half feet high, something like that. And it's great for the kids. You know, they can get in here and just have a ball in this little tucked away in this little space right here. And it's one of four bedrooms that are on here. I keep wanting to say cabins, but like I said, it just doesn't seem to fit with this boat. Uh. Yeah, 90 feet she just keeps on going. Okay, this door right here. And guess what we got here? Let's see. Yeah, you got it. Another bedroom. And, uh. Oh, bed isn't made up too good. It's alright. Yeah. Let's step down there and see what's down here. Down. And, uh. Oh, nice. Yeah. I don't know, with a, with a vessel like this, you could uh, live on board this vessel. And if you get tired of one place, well, by golly, you could just pull up and move to another place. This is a queen size bed right here. And some more lights right there. Maybe that'll help you a little bit better. 
no TV in this one, but there is a TV outlet there, and it's a uh, it's all a, a satellite uh, tracking dish up above there. So uh, you have same TV that you'd have at home, Direct TV or whatever you're with, or whomever you're with, I should say. And uh, just jerking this camera all over the place, aren't we? Let's see. Step out a little bit right there. Now we're going down uh, the port side here, down this passageway, and there's a door here. It's a sliding door. And uh, uh huh, there we go. Washer and dryer. Probably hasn't been too many clothes washed in this. Okay, it's brand new. And, uh, there and yeah, oh, there's that dog again you're a pest watch out okay thank you and this is going out to the aft deck there and and then just uh, tuck in here to the left here and here is the master I don't know what all these switches there are switches all over this thing and I'm sure you get used to it in short order However, I am not at this point. I don't know what that one does. I'll have to go back through here. <coughs> I have a coal, so bear with me if I if I stumble. This is the master bedroom. Beautiful tray ceiling. This is a king size bed here. And uh, very nice decor. See, I'm learning all these fancy words for you people. Decor, how you like that one? Pretty soon, I'm going to start using flow and niche. But uh, yes, very nice. And this bed looks out through a plate glass window sliding door type deal there is the huge central unit just like on a large home and the slide coming down out there and beautiful blue water creek and we'll trundle on back here and uh, the bathroom Monogram towels. Let's get some light going on here. There we go. Okay, and it looks like your uh, electro scan. Okay. Makeup lights. Very nice. Uh, I don't know what type of surface this is. It looks like to be marble or um, maybe some type of synthetic stuff, but it's very nice looking. And uh, the shower. flat screen TV and we'll take one more quick tour through in case I missed anything uh, it's quite something Like I said, very low hours on the main engine. I think probably less than 50 hours on the generator. 
20 kilowatt generator is enough to run about half a city block. Well, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it's, it's a lot. It's uh, enough to run this vessel. And keep everything uh, humming along pretty good. This vessel, vessel holds uh, 300 gallons of fuel and uh, 500 gallons of water. And here we are, and it looks like we got some folks here coming to clean up the outside there. That's right, get with it, girl. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming. Uh, I wanted to get back down here and do this little movie on this thing. Uh, if you're in an, interested in this vessel, uh, just give me a call. My name, my, 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 that cold. My name is Tom. I'm with Cape Regal Yachts. Telephone number is 256 710 4419, and we'll see if we can't put you a deal together. Thanks again, and have a great day. Hi, this is Tom back with you. My cold hasn't gotten any better today. We're looking at the exterior of Hearsay here. She's a 90 footer, like I said before. Um, we're in the dead of winter down here. Uh, she's not cleaned up too well right now. Um, but she does look pretty good when she is cleaned up. Um, so I'll get, if you could please just excuse the way it looks. Uh, you can see how things are here right now. It's kind of gloomy and leaves everywhere. So, uh, but she comes right back up and it's a very pretty vessel. <clears throat> side here little front porch there and side on one of the uh, let's just go out back zoom right on through the house here yeah. Yeah. that looks like the AC is running and here's the back deck That's a uh, personal watercraft ramp and the slide again. And we're getting ready to head back down to Florida, so I'm not going to take a whole lot of time with this. Uh, all these photos uh, when the vessel is clean are in, uh, in the pictures area of my uh, advertising. So, uh, like I said, uh, this is the dead of winter here needs to be uh, cleaned up pretty good and will be so thank you for looking again and uh, we're off and we're headed back home to Florida bye bye